John here guys and today I'm talking about the Rush Tiny Tank VTX. And some of these Rush Cherry antennas and a plethora of other Rush products that have recently hit the market. I really like this container that these antennas come in. But let's talk about how Rush has been taking the video transmitter market by storm. They came out with the full 30 by 30 size Rush tank video transmitter and has been adopted by a lot of the mid to long range pilots for its amazing reception, its beautiful features, and its very large, some people call it a heat sink, some people call it an RF shield. I've heard it's an RF shield. I think that it's probably good for absorbing and dissipating that heat as well. And this little tiny guy has no exception. So let's actually, in a moment, we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the bench so we can get a closer look at this tiny thing. Here is the quad that I built up to put this thing in. Um, <laughs> and as you can see how small it is in there, you can almost not really tell what is the receiver and what's the video transmitter at first glance because these things are so close to the same size. Um, this build is, I'll just go through it real simply. It is the Mayday Fusion, Fusion Drones frame with the front brace and the TPU pod using the Hyperlite ESC, the Hyperlite flight controller, Crossfire Nano SE with the little Mortal T back here, Axie Micro, and of course the Rush Tiny Tank uh, as the video transmitter. Now I put this thing through the most grueling test that I could think of to go for an, uh, a VTX. I took it to the Houston Cruise Long Race. That's right, a track so large that even the fastest pilots in the world are only expected to complete one lap. That's right, it's a DRL style one lap track that goes over trees, that goes super far out. At the far end, I would had to guess it was at least 300 yards away. And the track itself spans a good 200 yards from end to end. Um, it is extremely large. We essentially had a golf cart at the ready to be able to go and retrieve our quads because if we were walking to the field, that walk of shame would have <laughs> taken us forever. That's how big the, tra the track was. I was using this tiny Axie antenna at the back and I was broadcasting on only 25 milliwatts. That's right, 25 milliwatts. So you judge for yourself at the reception that this tiny $20 video transmitter can get. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start switching all my fleet over to this large or small quad. This is one VDX that can work for everything. And one thing that I like to do, at least for all of my racing quads, is to have components top to bottom all pretty much the same. So I like to use the same motors, the same camera, the same receivers, the same video transmitter so that everything is hot swappable so that when I load up on spares, I can wait till the big sale hits on the FPV sales alerts group. If you're not a part of that group, there's a link in the description below and I can stock up and save myself and really buy my entire stock to use for the entire season. So I have three of these now. I'm probably gonna go buy another five or six uh, as soon as I get that sale, there's actually a pretty good sale going on on bangers, or you can use my code at Heli Nation or any of the other vendors. Let's take a look on the bench. So here it is up close, the Rush Tiny Tank. I like, despite how small this thing is, it is exceptionally clearly labeled on this little RF shield heat uh, sink right there. You can tell what all the pads are for. And on the other side, you have your UFL connector and your button if you ever needed to manually change channels. Note, the one that I received did come shipped with pit mode on. So in order to turn off pit mode, all I did is go into the Betaflight OSD, um, go into the um, smart audio settings and into change that free setting right there. I'll see if I can put a screenshot on there. Um, other things that came in this little bit of packaging are four wires, um, you know, power, ground, signal, and smart audio right there. Comes with a little UFL dipole antenna. So if you were gonna install this on a micro, you'd be all set. If you're gonna install this on a five inch, you're gonna wanna get one of those little adapters. I'll have a link for those below. 
comes with a little bit of stickers right here and a tiny bit of heat shrink. So you can see, I went ahead and installed it in this build. I used uh, M3 or 3M 30 mount mounting tape with this heat shrink on there with the wires coming out this way. Have my crossfire coming the other way and no issues on here. And I'm using this little, this is actually the TBS um, UFL to SMA. Now I always like to put my heat shrink on top of these little UFL connectors to keep them a little more securely on there. And what I may do is just add like a tiny little dab of hot glue just to keep them well seated in there. Uh, this thing is so light, but it works so well. Here are some other of these Rush Cherry antenna options. This one is one that is MMCX, and you would use that on their 20 by 20 Rush Tank solution, which is this bad boy right here. This is the Rush Tank Ultimate. So if you want to go 20 by 20 with MMCX connection, you can use this, but look how much smaller that tiny tank is. It's absolutely minuscule in size. It is Lilliputian in scale. Um, you can barely see the thing, that's how small it is. Here it is uh, right next to an Ishii Nano VTX. And what can you tell there? You can tell that the Ishii Nano is a little bit shorter on the vertical, um, but it's actually larger on the horizontal. And there is no heatsink RF shield to speak of on this thing. And one note, this actually does perform pretty well. Um, I like that the wires are already installed, uh, including power output. I wouldn't use power output, so I'd have to take that off of this video transmitter. But one note about this thing, it gets exceptionally hot. I noted that this RF shield actually worked pretty well at dissipating the heat. When I checked it, it was not really very hot at all. It was like a standard VTX temperature. And I put this thing through its paces at the race. Um, the bigger the race, the larger the race, the more people at the race, the more time you're spent waiting on the line. And so anytime we had a five, sometimes I counted up to a six minute delay waiting on the line with our quads powered up, VTX powered on. People asked, hey, do you want me to turn off your quad because the VTX is just a cooking? I said, no, I'm reviewing this. Let it cook. So thank you, JBox, uh, for noting that for me. He is one of the up and coming fastest racers around. Absolutely supremely talented young guy. Um, he was actually giving me a, some notes that day because I wasn't flying my best. Uh, so thank you for those tips, uh, J Box. Now let's go over the other cherry antenna options. Comes with this really smart looking case. These are your UFL options. So it comes with two in the pack. Um, and let's just open this real quick. So as you can see, it comes with two in the pack. I like that there is a little hard piece of, of uh, like covering right here that keeps the end safe. This is very clearly labeled as right-hand circular polarized. Uh, it's about the same size as an Axi. I like that it's translucent and you can see some of the stuff in there. And this is your um, IPEX connector and it comes with this little shield on it. I guess so you don't get it really damaged in shipping. I'm thinking you would take that off, wouldn't you? Or is this a lock? Is this like a lock? Oh no, this is a lock. Check this out. I've never seen this before. Um, it's so tiny, but like, I guess what you do is you sort of pull this out in order to attach your connector. And then when it's on there, you go like that and it locks it in place? Is that really a thing? Wow, this is really cool. I didn't know this existed, so um, no worries. Now, um, for racing, I need to be able to switch between left hand and right hand, so that's why I need to run an SMA in case I get signed to left hand channel. But for any other purpose, this is an outstanding solution. I love that it comes with two of them. Um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and put this back. So here's the footage at the long race. Keep in mind how far this thing, keep in mind this is set to 25 milliwatts. What do you think guys in the comments? Are you gonna be switching? Uh, what VTX are you gonna be running for the 2020 season? I think I just found myself my new one. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.